Welcome back to Robocars.com, where we also look at the related issues around electrification, which affect the cost of robotaxis. Today, I'll consider a surprise I've learned about the cost of maintaining electric cars. This week, we completed the annual maintenance on our three and a half year old electric car. We refilled the wiper fluid and, and added a bit of air to the tires. That's it. Except for two other things, that's all I've done in the life of the car. Though one of those things was a doozy. The promise of the electric car is that it needs almost no maintenance. There's no oil to change or minor, regular, or major service appointments. There are far fewer parts and fewer things to go wrong. In time, I'll need new wiper blades and a few other minor things. Many drivers report their brake pads not wearing out after 200,000 miles because EV driving almost never uses the brakes. I did change out the internal air filter to add a HEPA filter for the wildfire problems we have today. That cost about $40 and a bit of time, and probably we need doing again in every three years. The doozy was needing new tires at around 28,000 miles. That's far too early, far before their rated life. One reason for this was a stupid mistake on my part. In the past, I've taken my gasoline cars in for regular service, and they were rotating my tires as needed during this service. Not taking my EV in for service, I never got the rotation done. That not only meant uneven wear, it also meant that I could not make a warranty claim on them. Lesson learned. There is more to the cost than that. EV tires do cost more than tires of similar cars, and may wear out faster than expected for three reasons. First, EVs are modestly heavier than an equivalent car with all those batteries. That means you need tires with a higher weight rating, and they will wear out a bit faster. Second, with EVs you care more about the energy efficiency of your tires. Even though wasted energy costs you less money than it costs in a gas car, you care more because the more efficient tires mean more range. The factory tires on most EVs are usually very energy efficient, so the company can advertise longer range. Third, EV motors run fairly silent, so you can care even more about getting low noise tires, and will pay more for this. Now, some EV tires may also have tread for high performance acceleration, although you don't have to buy those, though you must get a tire that supports the weight of your vehicle. In addition, some EV drivers take advantage of the incredible abilities of their EV for sporty driving and use up rubber faster that way. Traditional gasoline car maintenance is estimated about $0.05 cents a mile, with tires adding another cent a mile. For EVs, expect the other costs to get very low and for the tires to almost double, but it's still a net win. Some cars recommend regularly checking and lubricating the brake calipers because you aren't using the brakes. If you book a service appointment just for this, it could cost you money, but it's an easy add-on to anything else, like the rotation of your tires that you should be doing. Most tire centers give free lifetime rotation on tires they install, but they do that hoping you will need other service when you come in, a hope that may not work out on EVs. Today, the service industry is streamlined for the world of oil changes and minor service, and soon there will be streamlined paths for EVs as well. Reports suggest a Tesla now tells you if your rear tires are wearing too unevenly with your front tires on rear-wheel drive vehicles, so people will remember to rotate. It would be nice if they also put in a rotation reminder, which you could set in the user interface to indicate when to rotate them and remind you that the interval is up. Some people believe tire rotation is a bad idea. There are many arguments about it. Regardless of whether or where you come down on that, it is required for most tire warranties if you want to make use of the warranty. But they often have other conditions that make them difficult to use, including, of course, that you buy the same tires each time. Indeed, one of the side benefits of not needing service is not needing to take time out of your day for it. With a gasoline car, you regularly have a service day where you have to take your car to the shop for a day, find alternate transportation during the day to get back home or to work, and pick it up. Tire rotation still needs a service appointment, but it may be short enough that you can do it while you wait and surf the internet. Or perhaps it might be done someday with a mobile service van in the future, though probably not for free. 
Tesla also lists replacing the air conditioner desiccant bag every four to six years, and also checking the brake fluid and replacing it if it gets contaminated. As these cars age, more things may get on the list, but there's nothing like the more than a thousand dollar timing belt replacement I needed to do every seven years on my old Honda to stop the engine from self-destructing if it fails. That's a whole other world. I would not be too surprised to see a maintenance schedule show up for the 12 volt batteries on the Tesla and other cars. EVs do incur costs for what is more classed as a repair than maintenance. There have been reports of many Tesla 12 volt batteries failing, though mostly under warranty. Parts for expensive cars are always expensive. If you chip a windshield or whack a mirror or get a car burglary, you're going to pay. Tires also fail from road hazards and for other reasons. When it comes to this, your mileage may vary, as they say. The main battery will degrade over time, of course, but there's not much that can be done about that unless you get a serious problem that hits the warranty threshold. The EV shift will also mean a shift in the future for the ecosystem of service centers and auto parts stores that serve cars today. Cars with fewer parts and fewer things to wear out just won't need that industry quite as much. Today, EVs are just a few percent of total cars, but they were over 10% of car sales in California last year, which is the bellwether of the future for the world. That trend will continue to grow. If you found this useful, please daintily depress the like button and subscribe for more updates on self-driving cars and electrification. I'm Brad Templeton.